Breaking news. The first death from coronavirus here in the United States. Fast moving developments involving the coronavirus here in the U.S. Tonight, the virus has now taken at least six lives here in the U.S., and there are at least 100 confirmed cases. First time coronavirus deaths in this country surpass 100 in one day and a 500 total. U.S. is now reporting more COVID-19 deaths than anywhere else in the world. The U.S. in total reported more than 22,000 new cases. Uh, that was up from about 20,000 the day before. Just a few days, more Americans will have died from coronavirus over a span of roughly nine weeks than died in the Vietnam War over a span of 12 years. It's a big number, 3,283,000 thousand our initial jobless claims sick with two white house staff testing positive for coronavirus with senior members of his task force self-isolating when you do testing to that extent you're going to find more people you're going to find more cases so i said to my people slow the testing down please saying that he told officials to he told his people to slow down testing is not true it was a comment that he made in jest it's a comment that he made in passing <laughs> Ask your people to slow down testing. Were you just kidding or do you have a plan to slow down testing? I don't kid. Let me just tell you. Let me make it clear. Six million in a single week. A staggering number bringing the total number of jobless claims in the U.S. for the month of March above the 10 million mark. Even as unemployment rates remain at historic highs, the coronavirus pandemic shows no signs of slowing. With so many out of work in the midst of a health crisis, the spectre of mass evictions is now real. Many states are experiencing their highest infection rates since the crisis began. Nearly 76,000 cases reported in a single day. It is the largest number of cases, a new record in one day so far. There are nearly 3.7 million cases in the U.S. to date, more than 140,000 deaths as well. The worsening unemployment picture is simply staggering, skyrocketing in just a month from a 50-year low to nearly 17 million seeking benefits in just the last three weeks. But that number is most certainly underreported. The vice president said that more than half of new cases are Americans under the age of 35. That's being complicated by the fact that many are asymptomatic. Coronavirus is raging and on the move. This week, 13 states saw a record number of cases, 15 states a record of hospitalizations, and seven states a record number of deaths. The death toll from the coronavirus, take a look, up 20% from a week ago. More than 145,000 lives have been lost. We are five months into this pandemic. More than 150,000 people have died of the coronavirus in the U.S. 20,000 Americans are predicted to die from COVID-19 in the next two weeks as the virus spirals out of control. The country's top infectious disease expert has blamed the disaster on one thing, claiming the United States is anything but united. Tonight inside hospitals in the South and Midwest, some emergency rooms are now taking on a growing wave of COVID patients as officials brace for a tsunami of new infections. Protest against a statewide directive to wear face masks. Mask denial in the face of the pandemic is the paradox of America. This weekend, the U.S. passed the 5 million mark in coronavirus cases, by far the most on the planet. You gotta swab the inside of your mouth for 20 seconds. Still, as self-serve testing sites pop up in California with results often overnight, in other parts of America, test results can take a week or longer, say critics rendering them almost meaningless. Meanwhile, Americans continue to gather. I have no concerns on the COVID-19. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me one bit. Indeed, countless there were without masks. Say critics, it's a potential virus super spreader. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers continue battling each other over how to financially help Americans hurt in the pandemic as numbers in this country continue to grow broadly. Now more than 160,000 dead and counting. This morning, the U.S. hitting another grim milestone, surpassing 5 million reported cases of COVID-19. You invite, you know, uh, tens and hundreds of thousands of people, it, it changes everything. 
Many other states are seeing some people boldly ignore safety regulations. Extra unemployment benefit for millions of Americans is due to expire in less than six hours. It's going away now. It'll go away. Things go away. We saved hundreds of thousands of lives. Total U.S. cases have now topped 5 million since this pandemic began a grueling eight months ago, in which nearly 163,000 Americans have died and our way of life has been altered.